Hello everyone, Guardian E here with another Azure Lane video, and today we're going to be covering the new Skybound Oratorio rerun. That's right, baguettes are back, baby. Now, as usual, the video will be broken up into our day one polls on the event, as well as the event skins overview. Now, I've added timestamps and chapters down below for convenience. And before we get started, I'll just remind you that if you do enjoy the content that we put out, including Azure Lane videos, and you would like to support the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video, and leaving a comment down below to let us know the types of content that you'd like to see going forward. With that, let's jump into it. And here we are on the limited time rate up banner for the Skybound Oratorio rerun. Uh, we have, of course, the returning ships all here, as well as the two new ships, the new Elite, Maie Breze, as well as the new SR, the new super rare Le Terrible. So obviously those are going to be the two primary targets, those are the only two that we're missing, but I actually wouldn't mind getting additional copies of Algeri as well as Richelieu. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, the two new ships have the standard rates of 2% for SR and 2.5% for Elite. Uh, before we jump in, I do have a set of light constructions that I'm just going to burn through right now to see if we can't get some some good omen luck from our light constructions before we dive into the event polls. Let's run these off with a Stanley. Ah, Yukikaze! So we are getting an SR. Hopefully that gold bleeds into the rest of the polls today. But we'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, Ping Hai too. Alright. Not too bad. Okay. Start things off with a 10 pull. Get right into it. Ooh, got some cruise mission <laughs> progress on that too. Excellent. That's a good sign, right? So we really just want to get the two new ships once again. You're just hoping <laughs> this is going to be a bunch of Pensacolas. Is that how things are going to be here? Okay, Vocalon. We are going to get Vocalon, who I, I don't... I, I have her max limit broken, but I don't know if I... Uh, have an extra copy or not. Rodney? Interesting. It's an interesting elite I was not expecting. Okay. Repulse. Another Pensacola. And another Repulse. Oh, man. Alright, well, hey, we got an event elite at least. You know? I gotta, gotta look for the silver lining where we can. Let's <laughs> hope so the next tenfold gives us a little bit of some golden flash, keeps things a little bit more exciting. And let's see. Oh, there we go! We are going to be getting the new elite, Maie Breze. Destroyer Maie Breze, Templar Knight of the Iris Libre, has arrived. Thou there, plebeian! Thou may now sleep soundly, knowing I'll defend thy lanes. What? You are the Lord Commander. Forgive my grave disrespect just now. <laughs> so probably the more interesting of the two new ships design-wise, she has a ginormous lance uh, and shield combination, which is really cool, and you can see sort of the, the gunnery uh, poking out of the shield. So that's just a really cool effect. Her ears have these kind of like sonic speakers in them. There's a giant explosion or wreckage in the back that she's walking away from. Her, her blue hair, her azure hair is just kind of flowing behind her. So yeah, I think pretty neat um, overall composition for the art. Let's go ahead and lock her in. That's an excellent start, getting one of them, one of the two. Now, I, I gotta say that as far as the uh, the ships themselves, the two new ships, like, as a whole, I'm not, like, that thrilled with their designs. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not in love with them, I think. Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, it seems like all I have to do is uh, is say that I'm apathetic about the designs, and then they'll appear, apparently. Apparently, it's... Okay, well, anyway, uh, this is Le Terrible. Uh, I am Le Terrible, the elegant large destroyer who protects the teachings of Iris Libre. I have come in pursuit of your ideals. Commander, please show me the reason for which you fight. So yeah, she has some interesting theming here with the cage and the chains in the back, but also the, the wings symbolizing freedom that are kind of uh, fully extended behind her as she's moving forward. She's got that uh, big staff or scepter next to her as well. So we did, in fact, knock them both out uh, <laughs> on this multi, which, again, I was I was going to say, uh, I, I don't really care that much. Like I said, I'm not really that enamored with the designs of the two new ships for the rerun. 
I, I'm kind of sick and tired of the baby ships, and especially in light of the pedigree of the, the designs from the original batch, they just kind of pale in comparison. They're just not really to, to my taste. But but apparently that's all I need to get them right away. I mean, I guess that's a blessing in disguise because, again, since I wasn't completely in love with their designs, I also didn't want to dive that far into the banner. Um, so that actually works out. Uh, so I got both of them. I, I, what did we spend? Like 20, cu 40 cubes? I, I don't even know what that was. I mean, it'll... I don't know. It was something like that. But that was... Great results. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we'll just do daily pulls. We'll be do doing daily pulls on this uh, banner in the hopes of getting an additional copy of Aljudi or Richelieu. If Aljudi gets another skin in the future, I want to be ready to have have an extra copy to slap her in it. Uh, Richelieu as well. Uh, can't have too many copies, so uh, I think I'll just I, I think that'll be the game plan. I'll just do my dailies on this banner and and just see how we do. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut to the skin overview at this point. All right, now let's get into the skin overview. Now I will just note that the skins from the original run are back, they've returned, and there are definitely some absolutely glorious, beautiful picks here. Um, I'm not gonna be going over them one at a time because I already have from the original run, and I'll go ahead and link that video in case you are hearing what my opinion is on the original run skins. Uh, and you want to make a selection there, but there are definitely a lot of great gems uh, from the original batch. Starting off the new event ships, we've got Ibuki with Tranquil Sunya. Just this beautiful floral wreath of, of violets and blues just arched over her in the shape of this heart. Really, really ornate. It looks as though she's enjoying some snacks while in her pajamas. Uh, her outfit has these soft, muted grays and purples, and then also some girlish frills and some transparent layers. It does provide a nice look at her bare shoulders and sleek legs. Uh, you can't really see it in this uh, preview of the art, but she has some, some fluffy bunny slippers uh, waiting for her down below as well. The quad horn orientation on her head feels softened a bit by the cute bows and the ribbons accenting her glossy hair. The uh, heterochromia of her eyes is particularly striking here. Uh, it's almost got this piercing glow behind the blue and the red. I think overall the skin really does capture the softer side of Ibuki, and I think they did a really great job with it. I think fans of Ibuki should rejoice with this one. Next we have Latorio, Lounging Emerald. Uh, looks like she's getting ready for the night with this mirror in front of her, some cleansers. Uh, she's got a hair straightener in the back. She's uh, certainly filling out that pearly white silky fabric of her camisole. Uh, you can actually see the tantalizing outline of her exquisite figure through that thin and slightly sheer layer. She has this captivating thigh strap that just stretches and squeezes over the smooth, soft skin of her legs. Hands raised over her head as she's tying her hair gives an alluring look at her bare shoulders, underarms, and cleavage. Lovely, lovely shading on her smooth skin. Her shiny green hair is done up in a high ponytail, uh, with a single signature streak of crimson on the side, matching her ruby eyes. There is uh, some subtle embroidery on the outfit, on the front of the camisole for example, giving the outfit a more mature look. I will say that her bottoms feel a little on the plain side, but they really do look appropriately comfy for like curling up into a warm bed. I mean, these are pajamas, she's getting ready for sleep, so it is very fitting there. I'm actually very tempted to pick this one up. I haven't made a solid decision yet, but uh, this is definitely up there. I do like this one a lot. Next up, we have Cozy Enclave for Noshiro, keeping along with the pajama theme. It looks like she's donned in just an oversized men's shirt. I will say that there is just something alluring about a girl wearing an oversized men's shirt and very little else. Uh, seems to be what she's donned today. She is wearing some loose and baggy shorts alongside the oversized shirt that, again, is just kind of haphazardly uh, falling off of her shoulder here. I like the beautiful bonsai tree next to her and the beautiful arrangement of pillows behind her. Just adds a lot of flavor, I think, to the overall skin. Looks like she's also enjoying a little nighttime snack here. And I have to comment on just how beautiful and exemplary the shading and the shiny shimmering of her hair here, just the glossiness. The reflection here with the healthy gloss is just really beautiful. You get a spectrum of colors that are represented across. It's subtle, but I think it adds this vibrance and freshness to her and the skin as well. I think, uh, I think they did a great job with her here. Here we have the Noble Knight's Last Stand for Maie Breze. Uh, this one really is truly adorable. I, it seems like she either has an affinity for or she's just 
tonight caught her while she was watching some horror movies, maybe to get in the mood for Halloween, who knows. But I love the Shining reference <laughs> with Bismarck and Hood on the TV. I, I guess uh, Maya has, has bit off a little bit more than she can chew as far as the fear factor is concerned. Uh, she is terrified at the interruption of her viewing party by what appears to be, in the full art, it looks like a mischievous uh, manju that's kind of encroaching on her territory. She's aiming that wooden practice sword or toy sword or whatever it is at her would-be assailant. She is quite literally shivering in fear. Um, she has her blanket wrapped up around her. It's very, very cute. I do enjoy the flavor in the background elements. You have the stuffed bear here, and then you have uh, different trinkets adorning her shelves, which are kind of nice. It looks like she has a little figure, as well as a little stand for a toy replica sword. She has some kind of a trophy or award here, and the skin itself offers a lot of really fun and unique expressions, too. Um, so that's always that's always really nice. As far as Maya herself, I do like the little ribbon slash bunny ear adornment that she has in her hair. It is very precious, as well as lots of little ribbons and frills in the outfit itself. Makes it very girly. Silence, Slumber, and Solace with Le Terrible. Really, really detailed folds and ruffles in the fabric of her pajamas and the bed sheets. That really brings this to life, I feel. Just there's so much intricacy to admire here. Deep, rich colors surround her dainty frame as she sleeps. Just so elaborate with the shading and the pulling and the tugging of the cloth as well on the sides. Looks like this little manju is presenting her with a croissant, but I think she's out cold. It seems like she is definitely in a deep slumber for sure. You have all these doilies on this very luxurious pillow that she's resting her head and her flaxen hair upon. Uh, she also has a crown on her head. I feel like overall there's just this sense of opulence with this skin. I think with the silky fabrics and the adornments, the flowers, just how ornate and luxurious all of the trappings look, certainly feels like she is indulging a bit. All right, so now we're getting into the insta buys. We're gonna start things off with Kumano with PJ Poker Party. Let's go ahead and pick this up right now. Uh, now it's your turn, Commander. Which one's it gonna be? You sure you wanna pick this card? I hear you, Susie. Stop telling the commander what the cards are. <laughs> I love it. All right, and I have an extra Kumano ready and waiting for this skin, so that's perfect. All right, so let's check out some of the new voice lines. We already heard receive, log in. Psst, Susie, commander's here. Let's see, uh, you try to beat me this time, man. She has a little lollipop in her mouth. I like it. View details. All for real, you lucked out and chose the best possible card. Hmm, hang on, are you cheating, Commander? You always pick out the good cards. Oh, I, li I like that she has that little pouty expression. That is really sweet. Uh, taking your sweet time, huh? Mm-hmm, yawn. She has a little flush. I like it. Normal touch. Aha, is that your final answer? Special touch. You jelly, Susia? Cause you sure look it, haha. Ha. <laughs> she's she's taunting Susia because you, you did a little special touch in front of her. Uh, that could lead to some spicy scenarios. Uh, return to port. Back where we left off, Commander. So which card are you gonna pick? All right. And flagship fight. Now I'm pissed. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Love that line. That is perfect for her. So I just have to say that I love, love this theme. I love that they're playing cards while having this snuggly, comfy sleepover. You know, uh, you get both Kumano and Suzia here. Now that's that's definitely a two for one that I can absolutely get behind. Uh, Kumano herself is offering this plunging neckline of her shirt as a, a I think a tactical distraction. She's drawing your eyes and your brain away from the cards and towards her cleavage instead. She has that soft blush to her expression, and here she has the lollipop in her mouth. Uh, just adorable cub ears uh, of the hood adorned with these little flashy pink hearts. And here's her pouting expression. I absolutely love it. Uh, there's just this beautiful, soft, fluffy lining to the shirt. The stripe design of the arm sleeves here match the pattern on her open toe knee-high socks. You've got this tantalizing glimpse of her signature side-tied crimson undergarments, just kind of peeking out from under the shirt and over her hip. The shirt plus no bottoms is a winning combo, 
and just provides this magnificent view of the silky, smooth, tanned skin of her shapely thighs. Suzia in the back there has this cute, gentle smile. She's hugging that manju. Stars glitter the artwork. Soft lighting gives it this sense of warmth. You know, all these linens and pillows and drapes, they're all accompanied by, you know, these delicate pastel colors. It gives it a very homey, cozy feel, and it makes you want to curl up and snuggle. You know, in fact, the only colors that sort of deviate from that are Kumano's striking red horns up here, um, the choker and tie combo that she has, uh, and her panties, which is right in line with her exuberant and distracting personality. Uh, Kumano just kind of barreling through with her bright and vivid and infectious personality. I, I love this skin. I think it's fantastic. Next up, we have Boise with Castle Tails. Let's go ahead and grab this one here. Um, I decided to try on a costume since it's Halloween and all. Do you think I got that witchy look down? <laughs> Let's check out some of the new lines. Log in. Puff Puff, Commander, these pumpkin lanterns are so nice and warm. Would you like to come sit by me? It does look very inviting, I do have to say. View details. A long, long time ago, in a castle far uh, far away from here, there was once a witch who could grant people's wishes. Um, I'll tell you the rest of the story later. It's quite a long story. Main screen one. Witches won't stand out much compared to zombies and Frankenstein's monsters. Or so I thought. I think, Boise, you'll stand out just fine. I really don't think you have to worry about that one. Main screen 2, Phoenix, um, I'm planning on watching the parade from here, so I can't really participate in it with you. Main screen 3, Commander, why don't you try putting on this pumpkin mask? Pfft, I I'm sorry, I just couldn't hold it in. Aw, I'm glad that she's having a good time. You always worry with Boise, sometimes her anxiousness gets the better of her, so I'm glad to hear that she's having a good Halloween, uh... Expedition. Normal touch. Commander, would you like to try trick-or-treating? I've still got a fair bit of candy left, if you'd like. Special touch. Huff, puff, huff, puff. <laughs> you scared me. Oh, We'll do a head pat. Uh, what do you think about this witch's hat? I think it is very stylish, indeed. I like it. Return to port. Well, was that a will-o'-wisp just now? <laughs> So, I mean, just check this out. What a scene. This is like the perfect image of Halloween. You have jack-o'-lanterns, big looming silhouette of a creepy castle, got this scaggly tree limb that's running underneath, bats are fluttering in the sky, uh, just cute ghosts haunting on the side. I mean, it's got everything. Boise herself is sitting atop this low wall and we're treated to this relatively low angle shot. She's donned this witch outfit with accompanying wide-brimmed hats and mechanical bunny ears that are just kind of peeking on through. She's got a long cape behind her, what looks like an ornate scepter of some kind. And she also has this unique Plague Doctor mask that's uh, protecting her face and her humility, her modesty, I suppose. And once again, Boise is not yet ready to show us what's underneath her face mask, but that's fine. She can take her time with that. The, uh, the band of the thigh-high stocking is just sinking into the soft flesh of her fulsome thighs. Deliciously high, hip-cut leotard, snug and form-fitting like a plug suit, as it just extends up to wrap around her exceptional proportions. You've got these ochres and the blacks that are appropriately colored for Halloween. A beautiful, beautiful, vibrant aquamarine of her hair is just kind of draping over her cloak and uh, from underneath her hat as well. She has some relatively ornate and strappy shoes here too. Um, but yeah, again, I think that this one just screams for the holiday. Uh, happy Halloween. I think it's great. And last but certainly not least, we have La Gala Soniere with Black Cat of All Hallows Eve. Let's grab this live 2D, the one live 2D of the batch. If you ignore me, I'll use my black cat magic to turn you into a pumpkin. Is that Halloween-y enough? Ha ha ha. I'm just messing. Come on, let's go do something fun tonight, Commander. All right, we'll start things off with main screen one. Oh, we're dropping, we're dropping the phone. We're recording, Commander. If you're just gonna sit around, then I'll find someone else to hang out with. Oh, it, it's one of those apps with the little stuff that you can put on the face or whatever. We get, we're treated to a cute wink. You have the whiskers from the app on the phone. That's, that's a cute little flavor text. I like that. Uh, main screen two. Let's see what candy we're giving out. Hmm. You mind setting this and this and this and some of this just aside for me? Oh, and she licks the lollipop, I guess. 
Very nice. Yeah, Gala Sanyari, you can have all the candy. I'll give it all to you. Uh, main screen three. Putting on a costume and scaring people sounds pretty fun, so that's what Halloween's all about, huh? Makes my costume choice seem kind of out of place, though. Yeah, you're not you're not so much scary as you are alluring. I, <laughs> that is true. Normal touch. Am I supposed to go meow? Well, she puts her hands in the little, like, cat fists that you often see. It's a very cute. Special touch? Oh, so the special touch also features the camera, huh? She's got the whisker going. Okay, she does a little self-cleaning. It's a very hypnotizing animation. This laundry won't stop me from getting my hands dirty if I need to, you know. Yep, I know. Return to port. Trick or treat? Only kids go trick or treating. Who cares? Shut up and give me candy. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Shut up and give me candy. Oh, this is really cute. So she's like trying to intimidate us as a cat. The Maju comes flying in and hits her on the head. Oh, she's crying. That's very sweet. And then she gets back into her uh, into her pose here. Let's take a closer look. So here, of course, we are treated to the first and only live 2D of the event. And for Halloween this year, Gala Sonnieri as a black cat. Uh, it's almost, it feels like a comp. Oh, we, we're, we got a little... Uh, a little cut-in animation for whenever we get mail. That's actually kind of unique, because you don't often get like a to total cut-in animation when mail comes in like that. Um, but I was, I was going to say, this is, almost feels like a combination of Halloween and sleepwear. I mean, it, it's, it's basically lingerie, and she looks pretty fantastic in it. She's playfully lying on her front here. Her heels are sort of kicked up behind her. That big, bushy tail is just wagging and waving in the back. You have that strappy, bust-revealing top that just kind of cinches at her collar. It features some really beautiful, detailed embroidery on it. Uh, she has some really cute fingerless gloves with that paw print design. Very in vogue, fashionable, and attractive pleated skirt. Devilishly short, revealing garters that just kind of snake down her thighs towards the rest of her stocking-encased legs. Classic, long pink twin tail design complements the gothic black look very very nicely she has sort of a close cropped leash portion of the collar that's just kind of sticking down here really like the headpiece with the ears it's super super cute she has that one paw up as if to say rawr take me out for a ride just a lot of uh, personality to the animations. Really, really nice. And again, I think kind of a perfect blend between the Halloween and the pajama theme that they did uh, with the event this time. And here is the cut-in animation again. Since I always have mail, this animation is like going to be constantly uh, coming in every single time. Well, that is going to do it for our Skybound Oratorio rerun video. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you did on the event, how your polls went, who your targets were. Wish you the best of luck. Hope you got everything and every one that you were looking for. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the skins and which ones you're picking up over the course of this event. I think I'm probably going to... I'm almost certainly going to pick up that Latorio skin as well, but I don't know. I just want to sit on it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you're all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. Happy, happy Halloween, everyone. And until next time, let's protect those waters.